Hi guys, it's kind of a cloudy, gloomy day here in the end times, and I don't know if this is paradise or not, white salmon Washington <coughs> above the banks of the raped, pillaged, and ravaged Columbia River, the former Columbia River Gorge, I guess, uh, here on this gloomy Friday September 29, 2017, and I want to get into my comment of the day. I want to dive into the mailbag, but before I do, guys, I just want to put out an APB for one of our uh, one of our lieutenants seems to have completely disappeared off of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. It's been, good Lord, at least a week since I heard from one of my lieutenants, Valhalla 56. Valhalla 56, I don't know if I finally pissed Valhalla off or what. Uh, I'm assuming that Valhalla has just found him a new stripper girlfriend, a new 20-year-old girlfriend to uh, separate him from his money. But if anybody out there bumps into Valhalla 56, tell them that Hambone and Humpty Dumpty tribe are just wondering, wondering where he is. Uh, it's just not the same without uh, Valhalla. And I'm getting a little concerned about Andy because it's been two days since we've heard from Andy. And every day I don't hear from Andy, I'm wondering what the hell has happened. But anyway, I... I'm very happy to report four tribes members I have heard from, uh, and I th want to send out a big thank you before I get into the uh, comment of the day. I want to thank Brother Max for his very kind donation to Humpty Dumpty Tribe to keep us on the air. Sister Lisa, thank you very much, darling. Sister Sal. Sister Sal, I do appreciate the Patreon donation. And finally, Sister Marsha, thank you very much. And uh, is Marsha and Sister Margot, thank you, Marsha and Margot, both for your kind donations to keeping this weird little social experiment and high strangeness on the air. And speaking of very kind friends of mine, uh, watching my back, watching my back here in the end times, I'm going to share today's long comment from my buddy in West Bumblefuck, New Mexico, Mark J. Mark J. And, and Mark is, uh, I, I will have to say, uh, I would probably trust Mark J., as much as anybody I have ever met in my entire life to watch my back in the end times. We need more, we need more gentlemen like Mark J. Uh, in the world, and I do appreciate his uh, financial support. We're going to share. This was Mark weighing in on uh, my whine, my depressed collapsitarian whine about depressed collapsitarian cogitates on the meaning of friendship in the end times. Take it away, Mark J. One of your best whines, a pleasure to listen to, a rather stark view of humanity, but then a stark view could be the title of this channel. I have to imagine that a fair number have of people have done you solid through the years, which I think means have gotten my back through the years, but there, because there are a lot of good people and they might be scratching their heads and saying, what the fuck, if they heard this rant. But you are largely correct. Respect, trust, and loyalty are increasingly are in increasingly short supply in this tawdry property and money values society. Many people don't even know the meaning of trust and know even less about trust and relationship. 
And yes, if a friend, if a friend is mistreating other people, absolutely he or she will get around to mistreating you. Your wish to start a small community is a good one, but success in that depends entirely upon respect, trust, and loyalty among the members, and that dynamic in a group barely exists beyond wishful thinking. I tried to start a small farm community, and what I experienced was laziness, lack of commitment to a vision, and betrayal. I am going it alone. At this point, for a partner, I would prefer some broken down farmer from rural Mexico whose calloused hands have been in the soil and who doesn't have two nickels to rub together. Someone, someone like that will always have my back, rain or shine. An elderly friend of mine who knew the meaning of trust rode the rails during the Depression, and he said that when he was hungry and needed a meal, he did not knock on the doors of people who had money, but rather on the doors of poor working people like himself. But good luck on community. We should all be in community, especially with what's coming around the corner. In the meantime, you cannot go wrong with a good dog. It's the only thing that will love you more than it loves itself. I just adopted two from a shelter in El Paso. Good God, brother, what are you up to? Eleven dogs now? And they're so happy to see me at the end of the day. They're all over me, tearing my clothes. I mentioned that to an employee who doesn't care for dogs. He said, that's more than my wife does when I come home from work. Thank you, Mark J., for weighing in on that. Um, that's just looking at a, at a few other comments. I like the comments from this rant, as long as it looks like the sun might be breaking through. Here from uh, David Richland. You need to accept the fact that most people are pieces of shit. That's all. The trick is to separate the shit aside to find the special people. I try not to set my expectations too high with people. If I can't trust a person, I go the other way. There you go. Uh, wandering Neon. Hey, Hambone, you got three close friends and you are whining? Consider yourself lucky. I find, found out zero is just another number, and this is simply the manifestation of having some dignity left for myself. All right, Treebeard, uh, summing it all up, your circle of trust in the end times has to be very small. There you go. You tell them, uh, you tell them, Treebeard. Uh, let's see. Sandy Blue Ocean. What's on Sandy's mind? I wish I... Darling, I would like to sit here and uh, share this whole comment. Uh, let's see, let's just kick it off and people can uh, finish it out. Uh, I learned a long time ago not to have any expectations, thus no disappointments. I have had so many examples of what I could have taken as a disappointment, but I didn't let it in. There you go. Uh, 
And then she talks about how it's more important to give than to receive. And there you go. Uh, people do suck energy from me, but I have learned to handle it. Trust is a hard thing. I trust, sort of. I trust myself. I am the only one I can count on. I suppose I like it that way. Bottom line is never expect shit. You won't be disappointed. Trust yourself and don't worry about trusting anyone else. And there you go. And then I'm not quite sure what uh, the rescue of the bride. Uh, but I just want to pass this along. The rapture takes place in the context of the full moon and one-third of the stars falling from the firmament to the earth. October 5th, 2017, moments after whatever time 1840 UTC is, is the day and the hour of the rapture, October 5th. That's all coming down. On October 5th, 2017, there will be a massive worldwide earthquake. The sun will turn black. The full moon will become blood red at whatever time 1840 UTC is in your time uh, zone. Moments later, the great multitude in the white robes will be raptured out of the great tribulation as one-third of the stars begin to fall from the firmament to the earth. And you heard it right here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. October 5th, 2017, we can get rid of some of these Christians and just make do. Just those of us who are left behind can start an intentional community. But I gotta wrap this up because I thought the sun was coming. So I got the sun falling from the sky right here and about a hundred feet from the sun falling from the sky I have storm clouds gathering and rain starting to fall from the firmament to the earth. So I need to keep heading east before I head west tomorrow. Bye, guys.